Did you know there's a secret language in the world of relationships? A language that, when deciphered, can completely transform the way you connect with women. Hi, I'm Maxi, and today I'm going to reveal to you the eight secrets that women love but rarely admit. Get ready for a fascinating journey through the female universe, where you'll discover what truly makes their hearts race. Imagine being able to read her mind, understand her deepest desires, and know exactly what to do to win her over. Sounds impossible? Well, it's not. That's exactly what I'm going to teach you today. I'll share with you some of the weaknesses every woman has, but never talks about. Now picture this. You're on a date. Everything seems to be going well, but you feel like something is missing to really make her open up. What if I told you that by knowing these secrets, you could take that next step and make her completely enchanted, thinking about you day and night? And here's the big question. What happens if you don't know these secrets? The truth is you might miss the chance to create a deep, meaningful connection. And even worse, you might lose the opportunity to be the unforgettable man she's always wanted. And worse still, she might start looking for another man to take your place. That's why you need to stay until the end. Because what I'm about to reveal could be the difference between just being another guy in her life or becoming the man she can't get out of her mind. At the end of this video, you'll discover a final secret, the bonus secret, the most powerful of all that can make any woman obsessed with you. But first, I need you to do something for me. If you really want to unlock these mysteries and become irresistible, click the like button right now, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell. Without further delay, let's get started. First secret, the power of touch before intimacy. Have you ever wondered why so many dates end in disappointment, even when everything seemed promising? The answer might literally be in your hands. Women highly value a good massage before intimate moments, although they rarely express this directly. Why? Because for women, the emotional connection is just as vital as the physical one. A massage isn't just about relaxing the body. It's a way to communicate I care about you without saying a word. It shows you're willing to invest time and energy into her pleasure. Men who understand this have a significant advantage. They create an environment of trust and intimacy that transcends the physical. But beware, it's not about massaging as if you're kneading dough. The key is delicacy, noticing the details, paying attention to her reactions, and listening to her breathing. A massage is like a dance, and you need to master the movements. Second secret, be her hero, the protector. Pay attention, this is crucial. Women truly appreciate when a man steps up to defend them in tough situations, but they rarely express this clearly. Why? Because we live in an era of female empowerment where many women feel the need to constantly show strength and independence. However, deep down, there's still an instinctual desire for protection. I'm not talking about rescuing a damsel in distress, but small gestures, like stepping in when someone is rude to her, supporting her in an argument, or standing by her side in uncomfortable moments. When you do this, you activate a deep, primal feeling within her. You become the person she can rely on, the one who's there during tough times. Believe me, that's incredibly attractive. Third secret, the power of touching her hair. It might seem simple, but there's more to it than you think. The scalp is one of the most sensitive areas of the body, full of nerve endings. When you caress a woman's hair, you're not just touching the strands, you're triggering a series of pleasurable sensations. However, timing is everything. This gesture should be reserved for moments of greater intimacy, when a strong emotional connection already exists. Done at the right moment, it can set you apart from others, making you the one. Fourth secret, the art of flirting with respect. Many men believe that women don't appreciate being flirted with. Big mistake. They love it and they want you to flirt with them. They want you to move first and put some effort. But there's one essential condition. It must be done with respect and subtlety. Flirting is like a strategy game where every move matters and planning is crucial. A well-executed flirt makes a woman feel desired but not objectified. It's a fine balance between showing interest and maintaining an air of mystery. Use humor, give sincere but discreet compliments, and leave her smiling, curious about your true intentions. Fifth secret, the hand on her back in public. This seemingly simple act holds deep meaning for women. It communicates protection, care, and most importantly, pride in being by her side. It's a silent way of saying, we're in this together. The secret lies in subtlety. It shouldn't be possessive or controlling, but rather a gentle demonstration that you're there, right beside her, ready to support her. This type of body language taps directly into the feminine instinct to seek a reliable and present partner. Sixth secret, the charm of a beard. 
If you've ever thought about growing a beard, here's good news. Many women find beards incredibly attractive, though few openly admit it. A beard isn't just a facial feature. It's a symbol of masculinity, maturity, and believe it or not, fertility. Studies show that women often associate men with beards with qualities like strength, protection, and the ability to provide. But be careful, it's not just any beard. A well-maintained beard shows that you care about your appearance without being overly vain. It's the perfect balance between rugged and refined. Most importantly, it shows you're comfortable with your masculinity. Seventh secret, the power of dreams. Have you heard that dreams are the language of the unconscious? Use that to your advantage. Telling a woman you dreamed about her is like opening a direct window into your feelings. When you mention that she appeared in your dreams, you're subtly saying she occupies your thoughts, even when you're not awake. This makes her feel special, desired, and present in your life in a deep, meaningful way. But remember, keep it simple and sincere. Something like, it's funny, I dreamed about you last night. We were just chatting in a cafe, but I woke up with a really good feeling. That's enough to plant a powerful idea in her mind. Now before I share the special bonus secret I promised, take a moment to reflect. How many of these secrets did you already know? How many have you applied in your life? If the answer is few or none, don't worry. The important thing is that you now have this knowledge. Bonus secret, tight hugs and forehead kisses. Though they may seem simple, these gestures carry deep emotional significance for women. A tight hug goes beyond physical contact. It says, I'm here for you, you're safe with me. It's a blend of strength and affection. And the forehead kiss? That's pure gold. It expresses protection, care, and above all, respect. It's like saying, you're special to me without needing words. Now imagine being able to use a sequence of magnetic messages that ignite such intense chemistry and desire that she can't resist, becoming desperate for you. If you have a phone and know how to text, you could have beautiful women knocking on your door tonight. If you want to learn and improve your life in any area in your life, if you want to improve yourself with great stoic philosophy wisdom, if you want to improve your mental and spiritual health, if you want to win any woman's heart, if you want to improve your dating and relationship, then feel free to subscribe this channel because we know the secrets that you'll never find anywhere. There's a complete video I already uploaded on this channel about how to get girls like you, how to attract any woman, how to flirt with women, weaknesses of women, dating and relationships tips. I explained everything. Watch that video. Link is in the description. Or if you want to level up in your life, get a massive success in your life, become the best version in your life, then watch our favorite video. Link is also in the description. Why do women adore money more than anything else? Is it sexual activity? Is she enjoying the attention from simps? Or could it be high value men? Today we're delving deeply into a subject that frequently sparks debate, the notion that women are solely interested in money and attention, or that only affluent men can succeed with them. Do not be fooled by social media and its cringy relationship posts. The purpose of this video is to debunk commonly believed myths and explore the traits that women truly value more than money. By the end of this, you'll understand that even if you're not rich or conventionally attractive, you can still attract and connect with 90% of women. Let's start by talking about the money issue. Money does, in fact, have a big impact on attraction. Many women value stability, security, and comfort, all of which it can offer. The point is, though, it's not the end-all and the be-all. Have you ever wondered why some men without substantial wealth still manage to have fulfilling relationships? That's because money is just one piece of the puzzle. Think about it. Do you believe that love and attraction are solely determined by financial status? Do you truly think women only care about money and attention? Make sure you stay till the end of the video to find out. Number one, the confident man. Let's examine the first now. Women are known to place a higher value on confidence than money. A self-assured man emanates assurance and dependability. However, what does it mean to have genuine confidence? It's about believing in yourself, your abilities, and your worth. Not worrying about others' opinions or seeking external validation. Confidence isn't just bravado. It's about having stable self-esteem that doesn't waver in the face of challenges. Imagine walking into a room and commanding attention, not because of your looks or wealth, but because of your presence and self-assuredness. Have you noticed how confidence can be incredibly magnetic? This is because those with confidence refuse to limit themselves by thinking they aren't good enough. Number two, 
high-value men. Now let's delve into the second trait that women value more than money, being a high-value man. You've probably heard this term thrown around a lot, but what does it really mean? High value in a man encompasses everything that generates biological and instinctive attraction. It's not only about income or appearance. What therefore makes a guy valuable? It's his innate capacity to draw women in on a deeper level. When we talk about high value, we're talking about qualities that make a man attractive to many women, not just one. Have you noticed how some men naturally draw attention and admiration from women, regardless of their financial status? That's because high-value men do not live with sexualized minds. They harness a healthy mental state, prioritizing mental health over materialism and the opinions of others. Number three, understanding value and attraction. Men and women perceive value differently. For men, attraction is often immediate and visual, but for women, it's more complex. Women are biologically wired to seek out men who can provide comfort, security, and stability essential components for survival. This isn't just about material wealth, it's about a man's ability to offer these qualities in various ways. Consider this. Have you ever been drawn to someone for reasons you couldn't explain because they made you feel comfortable and safe? Women's attractiveness is shaped by this innate drive, highlighting the significance of characteristics other than financial achievement. Now, before you jump to any conclusions and discuss all the strong independent women, let me clarify. This video only refers to true, divine, and feminine women. I am well aware that there are women who do not require a man for comfort, security, and stability. Number four, enhancing your value. Now that we've discussed the traits women value, let's talk about how you can enhance your own value. This isn't about pretending to be someone you're not, nor is it about impressing anyone specific. Everything you learn should be for yourself, not for others. If you're not doing this for yourself, I wouldn't bother doing it at all. It's about developing genuine qualities that make you more attractive. Invest in your personal growth. Take courses, read books, and engage in activities that improve your knowledge and skills. Have you ever had a sense of fulfillment from bettering yourself and witnessing the results? I'm cheering you on if you're trying to better yourself. But keep in mind that you're improving yourself for yourself, not for me or anybody else. Number five, biological attraction explained. Men are primarily visual creatures. It takes us only a few seconds to decide if a woman is attractive. This explains why women invest so much time and effort in their appearance. But for women, attraction is multifaceted. It's about a man's personality, his behaviors, and his ability to provide the triad of comfort, security, and stability. Men have a distinct advantage because of this. Beyond our physical appearance, there are several ways we might improve our appeal. Ever ponder why certain individuals seem more appealing the more you know them? This is due to the fact that genuine attraction transcends appearances and material wealth. We've all seen a gorgeous woman with a less attractive looking man, and wondered how he got her. We coped, saying, he's so lucky. But was it luck? Or was it because he's truly a high value man? Have you ever had such an experience? I'd love to hear your stories in the comments section below. Number six, sociability and networking. Let's discuss sociability. Being sociable entails being able to establish connections with people, have deep discussions, and expand one's social circle. Because it shows that you can influence people, negotiate social situations and form relationships. This quality is quite appealing. Think about the most charismatic person you know. Isn't it their ability to engage and connect with others that makes them stand out? Women value men who are sociable because it signals that you have the social skills and network to thrive in different situations. Even if you're introverted, do not let that make you believe making connections is difficult. Introverts may not form as many connections as extroverts, but they can certainly form much deeper bonds within a shorter time frame. Number seven, the triad of attraction, comfort, security, and stability. As discussed previously, these are the three pillars of attraction for women. Imagine a structure supported by three strong pillars. If one pillar is missing, the structure becomes unstable. Similarly, Women value these three traits in men because they fulfill their innate need for survival and well-being. But how can you embody these traits if you're not wealthy? It's about how you carry yourself, 
your confidence and your ability to provide emotional and psychological security. Can you recall a time when someone's presence alone made you feel at ease and protected? This can be a rather typical sensation, even for men. Imagine being surrounded by an elder brother figure or a whole brotherhood. You feel untouchable and prepared to face the world because it offers stability, security, and comfort. This is what women look for in men. In conclusion, attractiveness is influenced by more than just wealth and good looks. By focusing on traits that are valued, such friendliness and confidence, you can build a stronger relationship with women. Remember that true love is more than appearances. What actions will you take today then to increase your value and create lasting relationships? Tell us what you think by leaving a comment below. You're in a relationship yet something feels strange. Your instinct tells you that something is strange. She is very reticent when you ask her about her past or casually mention the names of previous men in a normal conversation. If you're seeking for a dependable relationship, you may be sliding into a trap, but I'll help you avoid it today. If you want to know if she has had several sexual partners, look for these indicators. These 10 signals will reveal direct insights about how she lived in the past. Remember, the goal is not to judge, but to select the perfect partner who will not mess with your emotions and will commit to a long-term relationship. So stick around until the conclusion of the movie to find out if it's worth starting a relationship with her or if you should just cut connections as soon as possible. Number one, she tells vague or inconsistent stories. An important sign that she might have had multiple sexual partners in the past is inconsistencies in her stories. After months together, if you still can't say for sure that she has clearly shared her past with you and the things she shares are vague or inconsistent, it could be a sign. For example, she might tell you one story one day and a different one the next. These inconsistencies can include mentioning names of more than one guy, talking about a long-term ex, and then saying she never had a serious relationship, or describing a hobby shared with a previous partner that doesn't match her current interests. It's important to remember that not everyone likes to relive old relationships. Some people might prefer to focus on the present with you. However, if her vagueness or inconsistencies make you feel insecure or suspicious, it's worth exploring gently. What can you do in this situation? Have a serious conversation with her about this topic and ask her to clarify her past. If she is genuinely interested in a relationship, her reaction will be more satisfying than her words. If she opens up honestly and fills in the gaps with warmth and clarity, that's a great sign. But if she continues presenting an inconsistent story, it might indicate you should part ways with her before she plays with you. Remember, you should never rush into making this kind of decision. Relationships require a combination of time and open communication. Give enough time and see if her story seems to become more nebulous over time, or if she starts sharing her past more clearly after building trust in you. Number two, she frequently changes plans at the last minute. Has she canceled plans at the last moment more often? These fluctuations can be more frustrating than the stock market. Have you ever wondered why this keeps happening? It's understandable if plans are canceled for obvious reasons once or twice, but if this happens repeatedly, there's definitely something wrong. Also, note that she always provides vague reasons for these cancellations. She might say a last minute meeting came up but surprise meetings don't happen that often. Or she might mention a friend coming to town but is very careful not to reveal the identity of this friend. You shouldn't let her play with you like this. Clearly, she is prioritizing something over the relationship with you, and that's a sign that cannot be ignored. It's important to remember that we all have busy lives and things can come up unexpectedly. Maybe she has a demanding job with unpredictable schedules, or a close friend going through a tough time who needs her support. However, if these last-minute cancellations are becoming a habit and you feel excluded or unimportant, it's worth having a conversation. Again, communication is key here. Approach her calmly and ask why she's canceling plans repeatedly. Make it clear that this is unacceptable to you and resolve things together. Number three, she avoids introducing you to her friends. Meeting your partner's friends is a big step as it's an opportunity to connect with important people in her life and be introduced to her social circle. But what if your partner seems hesitant or avoids introducing you to her friends? She may keep making excuses or change the subject whenever you bring up the topic. 
This is a very direct sign that she may be hiding something important from you. When a woman has a genuine relationship with you, she would want to introduce you to everyone. Only when there is a risk of something bigger happening does she try to avoid introducing you to friends. She may be afraid that a friend who knows her past may reveal information about her sexual history, or that she had a relationship with one of those friends before, and did not want to mention that to you. Therefore, even when you ask about her friends, she changes the subject or dismisses the conversation playfully. This can leave you confused, or even make you feel silly, because it seems like she doesn't even consider you worthy enough to talk about her friends. No matter the reason for hiding friends, you cannot let that go through. Perhaps directly communicating with some of her friends can give you a better understanding of who she is, or just talking directly to her as if this conversation would decide whether the relationship can continue or needs to end there. Number four, she feels very comfortable with physical intimacy. Your first intimate moment with her was concerning rather than amazing. Yes, you expected it to be amazing, but it ended up being unexpectedly intense. She might feel very at ease and bold with physical intimacy, which could indicate she has had many previous experiences. If you are confused, let me explain. Instead of you taking the first step, if she initiates like a pro, it could be a sign she has experience. She doesn't shy away from hugs and kisses, but is open to more advanced or even strange moves, accepting everything you propose. If your instinct tells you she has a lot of experience with physical intimacy, it could be a sign you shouldn't ignore. However, you shouldn't jump to conclusions. She might naturally be more expressive and talented in bed, so you should also pay attention to other signs to ensure she is the right partner for you. Number five, she is very secretive about phone use. Your partner's phone suddenly becomes her most precious possession when she's around you. She makes sure to keep it face down, quickly changes the screen, or becomes extremely secretive when answering calls in your presence. This behavior can be suspicious and make you wonder if she's hiding something. The reasons for keeping her phone away from you can vary. She might still be in contact with some of her ex-boyfriends, or she might just want to ensure you don't have access to her message history or images from her past. When you ask to see her phone, she might get dramatic, interpreting it as a lack of trust on your part. This can put you in a difficult position where you can't ask about her phone anymore. Before jumping to conclusions, you should consider that there can always be a different story or logical explanation for this. Everyone deserves some privacy, and some people might simply be very protective of their personal space. Maybe she has work conversations she doesn't want to discuss or values her alone time for browsing. However, if the relationship is strong enough, there will come a time when the couple doesn't need to hide their phones from each other. Give it time to see if she changes over time. Otherwise, you will be fully justified in ending the relationship after confirming her phone activities. Number six, she frequently compares you to previous partners. A woman entering a relationship for the first time will never compare you to someone else because you are all she knows. However, if she has had multiple partners in the past, it's likely that she will compare you to her ex-boyfriends at some point voluntarily or involuntarily. How do you know if she compares you to her ex-boyfriends? She might mention that the steak you cooked at home is better than what she used to enjoy with her ex, or talk about how an ex loved a certain activity that you never suggested. During an argument, she might compare your flaws to those of her ex-boyfriend. These comparisons, no matter how subtle, can make you feel insecure. The important thing is that these comparisons are not your fault. A person who has spent time with multiple partners will end up comparing them at some point. You need to let her know that she can't play with you like that. If she regularly compares you to other men, simply end the relationship and make it clear that you are not just another guy. Number seven, she avoids emotional closeness. Sometimes a man, no matter how strong he is, feels emotionally vulnerable and will seek his partner to fill that void. A spiritual connection and emotional support are important in a relationship as they help couples get through tough times together. But what if your partner doesn't respond to your need for an emotional connection? A woman who has had multiple sexual partners usually exhibits this behavior and avoids emotional closeness. How do you know if she is really avoiding emotional connection? If you try to have a deep conversation and she seems to prefer light chats, quickly changes the subject, or avoids talking about feelings, she might be avoiding emotional intimacy. If you feel that your efforts are in vain, it might be time to stop trying. 
However, it could also be a sign that she is more reserved or has been emotionally hurt before. Maybe you should give her a bit more time before making a decision. Number 8. She is very conscious of her physical appearance. In addition to being secretive with the phone, she can be very conscious of both her own appearance and yours. She can spend significant time grooming herself, constantly checking her reflection, or frequently complimenting others' appearances while taking pride in her own. While caring about appearances is healthy, it can also be a sign that she has been with other attractive men in the past and now believes that focusing on physical appearance is somehow relevant to her sexual history. Being overly focused on her own appearance or others can indicate that she is more interested in what's on the outside than what's on the inside. In extreme cases, she may even compare her physical appearance to that of an ex or any random person she sees on her phone. If, instead of talking to you about things that require emotional depth, she spends time comparing herself to others, you have the right to ask why. Even after a serious discussion on this topic, if she doesn't stop these superficial conversations, make it clear that it makes you feel insecure and that she should stop. Otherwise, it would be better to part ways before it's too late. Just remember that some people are naturally more image conscious, so even if she acts this way but her history is very clear to you, it just means it's part of her personality and she needs to accept who she is. Number 9. She shows a lack of interest in discussing sexual health. Talking about sex can be awkward, but it's an extremely important topic, especially when it comes to sexual health. It's crucial for every couple to discuss this because it ensures both are on the same page regarding safe sexual practices and creates a space for open communication about their sexual desires and needs. What happens if she is never interested in discussing sexual health? This could mean she is hiding something, leaving you wondering what it could be. Her lack of interest in discussing sexual health may be related to her past. Having multiple partners means she may be more prone to sexually transmitted infections, and the fact that she could also transmit them to you might make her want to stay silent on the topic. Another factor is that she may not want to be judged for her previous sexual history or the contraceptive method she may be using. However, sexual health must be discussed at all costs for the sake of both parties and to get stronger clues about whether she has had multiple partners before or not. Therefore, take a direct approach and make it clear that these topics need to be discussed or the relationship cannot continue. If she gets scared but starts answering your questions, that could be a good sign. But if she becomes defensive and starts giving vague answers, then she's becoming more difficult, making it easier for you to make the tough decision to leave her. Number 10. Her priorities change and exclude you. When we enter a relationship, our partner becomes one of the most important people to us. They become a priority. This is how psychology works. So if she makes you feel excluded or if her priorities do not include you, and you continue to be relegated to the end of the list, it simply means she still has other people who are attracting her attention. Although sometimes it may seem that there are genuine reasons for her priorities, it may not always be so. For example, she may start spending all her free time with new friends, neglecting the plans you made together, or prioritizing hobbies that make you feel excluded. This will give you an idea if her priorities are real or if you are simply not a priority for her at this time. If you have noticed many other signs along with this, then it is clear that she had multiple sexual partners before. Remember, it's not about judging her but your ability to accept that or not. If this is too much for you, then it's time to say goodbye. You should never rush to reach a conclusion. If you notice some signs, there could always be another explanation. My advice is to give the relationship some time, learn more about her, and ensure if she can be a good partner for you or not. At the same time, never settle for less than you deserve. If you are looking for a long-term relationship with a deeper connection, never give a chance to someone who is just playing. Remember, you are a man of great value. In summary, we have seen that being in a relationship where your instinct tells you something is wrong can be distressing. This guide presents signs that may indicate if your partner has had multiple sexual partners in the past, helping to clarify your doubts and make informed decisions about the continuation of the relationship. These signs, when combined, provide a comprehensive view of her behavior and the potential impact on your relationship. First and foremost, observe if she feels overly comfortable with physical intimacy from the start which may indicate previous experience. 
Also, pay attention if she avoids emotional closeness or if stories about her past are vague or inconsistent. These attitudes may suggest that she is hiding important parts of her life. Another important sign is frequent last-minute plan changes, especially if the excuses are vague, indicating that you may not be a priority. If she often compares you to ex-partners, this can undermine your self-esteem and reveal that she is still attached to previous relationships. Also, watch her behavior with her phone. If she hides the device or avoids using it in your presence, she may be hiding something. Excessive concern about her appearance or yours can also be indicative, reflecting a superficial emphasis influenced by past relationships. Another crucial aspect is her disinterest in discussing sexual health, which may signal that she is hiding infections or details of her sexual history. Additionally, do not ignore if she avoids introducing you to her friends, as this may mean there are aspects of her past she does not want to reveal. Lastly, if her priorities change and you find yourself being excluded, it may indicate that others still hold her attention. Ultimately, all these signs should be considered carefully and without hasty judgments. Relationships are complex and require open and honest communication. If many of these signs are present, it's important to have frank conversations to better understand her past and intentions. Most importantly, ensure you do not settle for less than you deserve. Seek a partner who is committed to a serious relationship and respects your feelings. Always remember that you are a person of great value and deserve someone who values and respects that. I sincerely hope this message has been helpful to you. Thank you for watching the video until the end. Your dedication to seeking a healthy and genuine relationship is admirable. If you like the content, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more valuable tips. Leave a comment with the phrase, I deserve the best, to show that you've made it this far and are committed to building genuine and lasting relationships. Thank you for your attention and see you in our next video.